here with Robin Koop, uh, PhD in engineering physics, who helped me a lot with the creation of the Electrum. And Robin, you've been on the Electrum now, I gave it to you about a month ago? Two months ago. Was it two months yeah, ago? Yeah, it was the beginning of December. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, so you've had about two months on it. How, do you, how have you found it? It's been really cool. Uh, it, it's uh, been just, well, we've had some terrible weather in January, but in the times when it's been drier, mostly, I'll get to the riding in the wet part later. This has been really great to ride around. Uh, Vancouver has this excellent network of bike routes, and it's just such a wonderful vehicle to ride. You know, out as far as the University of BC, it's like eight or ten or fifteen kilometers from my my place and back. And I've ridden a number of other rides, sort of to the sort of near suburbs, and it's been great every time. And and it, it really lets you take advantage of the routes that are there uh, to sort of but getting over that through those routes efficiently for fairly far dis long distance. And then what they did is they. They demanded all these guys give back some of their real estate that they've been encroaching on the city, sort of, you know, on the oh, road. Oh, creeping right? onto the actual road keeping right away. The, well, keeping on the sidewalk, and the whole right. thing had been some miss thing that had been, had been taken up by everyone. So they, they pushed all their, uh, all their, I'm not sure all of them, but they got a long section of them. Yeah, right. Back. Awesome. And how have you found kind of the learning curve of getting used to the position and riding a recumbent in traffic and that sort of thing? The... Uh, in terms of the position, recumbents are sensitive to getting your pedal position good and getting your seat in the right place. I played around with that a bit and I've got that uh, pretty well set up in terms of uh, you know moving the seat back and then playing also interestingly with the cowling here on the bike so that I can actually have the air come over me nicely because I'm a little bit, uh, I guess I'm a little bit taller than Tig when I, when I took the bike uh, over uh, and set it up for myself. Um, and so yeah, that's been, um, and, and it's been easy to get used to it uh, in terms of the, the, the handling, the low speed maneuverability, uh, you know, you have to think carefully about how you're going to maneuver it. But, mm -hmm. the, but once you're moving, it's really easy to ride. And, you know, riding in traffic hasn't been hasn't been bad. Certainly, you know, shoulder checking, you have to be quite on point to make sure you're looking right. properly back and forth. But it's uh, it, it, it's been fine. Have you found you got used to th having things like mirrors and turn signals as opposed to on a bicycle? Well, I have uh, 40,000 kilometers on a scooter. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're a little more used so to so that. I've been riding a scooter every day almost since 2002. So I'm pretty used to the mirrors. And in fact, when I get on a bicycle, I'm like, where's the mirrors? Right. So yeah, so that part's been pretty good. But certainly, uh, I think anybody, particularly if you come from driving a car, you know, you expect there to be mirrors and it's fine. Right. Man, I don't think I'm gonna come here if I can't do any rabbit feeding. Yeah, don't feed the rabbits, man. And what about the uh, the partial weather protection from the fairing on your legs? Have you found that to actually work for you fairly well so in the rain? The weather prote weather protection is one of the most amazing things about the Electrum. Uh, I had a few rides. I won to North Vancouver from the city of Vancouver uh, over one bridge and back over the other bridge, and it rained for the latter part of that trip. And coming back to the Vancouver side and not really being wet at all because the water just goes over top well it, you, you get wet but only only your upper body and your and your helmet and your glasses get wet and your pants actually stray remarkably dry um, and contrast this interestingly with my scooter which is very upright normal sort of gas powered scooter where the the water seems to all drain off your jacket onto your pants and so you have to wear rain pants in even fairly mild conditions um, the electrum i when it was uh, recently going to going to and from work uh, and we have underground parking at both ends Riding the Electrum was a no-brainer compared to riding the scooter when it was raining because you knew you were going to arrive at work dry and you didn't have to put on any special clothing. Awesome. That's great to hear because, I, yeah, I felt the same way, but you never know. And uh, any other reflections on the Electrum before I let you go? I think it just has really made me uh, feel that e-bicycles are, uh, and, and particularly for longer distances, the e-recumbent. Uh, setup is a is pretty compelling and um, you know my scooter has been going on for a lot of years it's not going to last forever and I will certainly have an e-bike in my future uh, and I, I certainly I'm really interested in in taking advantage of the bike routes 
that exist because it's such a nicer way to travel yeah. than driving around on regular streets with cars. Yeah. And uh, so will that e-bike be an Electra? It may well be. <laughs> we got to build the next prototype. <laughs>